It's like Bear Grick's kicking ass right now. Fuck yeah. I hope Bear Grick wins the week. Actually, I hope J Fresh wins the week, but Bear Grick is right tomorrow. I like it. All right, GME still sucks. Um, does all of these have ETF FTDs coming up after this Friday? A few before. Upstart took a 5% dive today, despite it being up a little bit earlier, as pointed out by MW. <sighs> Fubo looks like crap. Maybe it finally uh, breaks back down to 225 and I can close my covered calls. Siri, don't care. Top went down, bounced back up at 170. Starting to get pretty f***ing illiquid there, though. I might pick up a small position on that soon. That looks like it's still getting shorted. Might be getting shorted a little while longer. Should be on Reg Show, maybe after OPEX. QQQ down almost 200 basis points today. RSP down 128. SPX down 161. Uh, futures lost the 4900 level. Next stop on the way down is 4860. A little bit of support there. Uh, and then we're looking at the 4845, 4844 level. Uh, broad commodities turned up a little bit today, which is kind of nice. Uh, PMI out of China last night wasn't so great, but it wasn't terrible either. And Japan beefed all of their economic data, though. Retail sales and industrial production were terrible. Yields are continuing to turn down, despite the dollar moving up very, very hard. Um, I don't think that's going to last long. Um, I think dollar is likely to continue up, especially after j comments today. And I think that should push up the top end of the yield curve a little more. But we may still be getting some risk off behavior. And so we might be seeing we might be seeing a little bit of action from that for the rest of this week. And then maybe that'll kind of turn around and normalize next week. Uh, big moves in both core one month and three month. A big breakdown in dispersion today. We're still kind of relatively in the same range, but it's it's turning around. So we'll be looking for a continuation on that. Uh, JPY carry trade, USD JPY carry trade broke down a little bit earlier in advance of the Fed meeting, kind of climbing back afterwards. Um, I think, I think with rate cuts off of the table for a period of time and no expected rate cuts out of Japan, uh, banks will be incentivized to lean into this a little bit harder, uh, over the next like three months until March. So keep an eye on that one. That's, that's probably going to move around a bit. We probably got a lot of bond volatility today, but that I think updates at 415 or something like that. Um, and skew turned around a little bit today, but kind of flattened out into the end of the day. But a little bit more of that tail risk demand that's not updated. And vol shorting continues, although we're down about one percent from yesterday, so it's positively correlated more positively correlated than it was yesterday but not not very much qualcomm up after hours cool uh hum i don't really need to talk about that that one's fine let's take a look at qualcomm uh qualcomm's up like two percent in after hours not a not a very big change but nice nice little bounce i guess they actually did pretty good today already they, they were kind of kind of on a streak there all right that's it thank you guys so much and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Later, everyone.